Hello everybody, my name is Jack Caravanos and I'm a professor of environmental health at the City University of New York School of Public Health. The purpose of this video is to present the historic environmental contamination event that occurred more than 50 years ago and set the stage for many environmental health protection programs worldwide. It all started when an industrialist opened up a chemical manufacturing plant in Minamata in the early 19th century. The Chiso chemical plant was located in Minamata and was quite prosperous. Most of the residents of the city worked at the plant and many others were fishermen. This particular plant made a variety of what's referred to as base chemicals. These are the building blocks of more complicated chemicals such as pharmaceuticals and plastics. In 1932, acetylaldehyde manufacturer using a mercury catalyst was opened. It all starts with carbide reacting with water, which produces acetylene. Acetylene is a valuable intermediate, which is used to produce the valuable products acetylaldehyde and vinyl chloride. Vinyl chloride is polymerized to PVC, a very important plastic, and acetylaldehyde is used to make pharmaceuticals and other plastics. A key ingredient in all this is the mercury catalyst. But after the reaction, mercury gets converted to methylmercury which is released in the industrial wastewater. This is where the trouble starts. Even though the contamination started when the plant first opened, it wasn't until 1956 that unusual behavior in cats got people asking questions. In essence, the abnormal behavior of the cats was the index case. Minamata, of course, was a fishing village and many cats ate leftover scraps including bone, fat tissue, and organs. These tissues bioconcentrate organic pollution such as methylmercury. The serious neurological conditions became more and more apparent and confirmation was established that human adverse neurological symptoms was linked to local shellfish and fish consumption. The following YouTube video shows some striking and disturbing images of the effects. I warn you, it's very sad. In 1957, the Minamata Disease Research Group of Kumamoto University announced that Minamata disease is a toxic disorder of the central nervous system caused by certain organic mercury compounds transmitted through the intake of seafood. In the same year, extremely toxic levels of organic mercury were detected in the human patients. The most shocking historical event about this poisoning was what's been labeled the 10 years of silence. Between 1959 and 1969, essentially little was done to remedy the site and help people affected. It was only after another methylmercury poisoning event in 1969 in Niigata a village on the other side of the island that people rediscovered what happened at Minamata. This was also a period of growing environmental activism so the time was ripe for renewed attention. However this photograph single-handedly brought the issue to the world. The photojournalist Eugene Smith and his wife Eileen Smith lived at Minamata for several years in the early 1970s. This famous photo showing Tomoko taking a bath with her mother shocked the world and called for action. Tomoko's mother ate fish during her pregnancy and Tomoko was born with severe congenital deformities. She died at age 21, as many seriously affected individuals did. In total, a little over 1,700 died of methylmercury poisoning at Minamata Bay, and between 10,000 and 15,000 are thought to be affected. However, a thorough epidemiological study has yet to be done. The sad thing is that Japan is home to several environmental poisoning events. Conveniently named the Big Four, they are methylmercury at Niigata and Minamata, Tai Tai disease caused by rice contaminated with cadmium from industrial wastewater, and a serious asthmatic event caused by sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide originating from burning high sulfur fuels. Of course, with the recent release of radiation at the Fukushima nuclear power plant, it may need to be renamed to the Big Five. Thank you for listening. 
Goodbye.